Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of JCPW. And what a show we've got for you, because here is our match card tonight. We've got so many great matches, and we're coming live from Birmingham tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, new season, new episode, and we've got a great lineup for you tonight. We've got so many great matches for you. Here comes tonight's match card. We will see Cody Rossi taking on the new debuting star, Alex and the X. Looking to make an impact. Would he do that is another question. We'll have to wait and see as that match does progress. And then following that match, we have got a great match for you coming up. We will see Vincent Lawrence taking on Xander Barnett. Now, Xander Barnett had a great debut at Insurrection. Coming away with a victory. Can he do it again against the, the Vincent Lawrence, against the veteran? It's another thing you have to wait and see. If he can pull it off, because Vincent Lawrence has got a lot to prove. And so does Xander Banner. And then we do have a triple threat. Three superstars making their debuts tonight. And it's going to be interesting, because obviously our women's division is looking so strong right now. And one of these three women's, women are th definitely looking to make an impact on that division. How they do it is another question. Just wait and see. And then we have the former JCPW hardcore champion taking on... So hardcore champion Crimson taking on Ace. Now this guy had a massive victory over JC Wolf at Insurrection. Unfortunately, Crimson did lose his title to Logan Townsend. So it'll be interesting to see how he pulls off and does he come up with another victory. And speaking of the Townsends, we will see Logan Townsend taking on Connor McCarthy, a tag team making their debut. The tag team of Connor McCarthy and Noel McCarthy. McCarthy brothers known as the Union, but they will be facing off. Look, Connor Townsend will be take Connor. Sorry, will be taking on Logan Townsend, and then we have the next gen champion, Alex Hayes, taking on the newcomer. And this guy is a powerhouse. Alex Hayes will be taking on Eric Schultz, and it will be a falls count anywhere match. So anything goes, and whatever happens, it does happen. And then we move on to your main event. You will see J. C. Wolf with Mercedes. Taking on Lars Behrens. Now, again, this is a huge opportunity for Lars, but JC Wolf has so much to prove after coming off that loss at Insurrection. But can he pull out the victory? It's another question. But he's got a superstar he knows nothing about. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open up with our opening match. Here we go. And he is making his way to the ring, representing CWL. This is Cody Rossi, a superstar definitely trying to make a big impact in virtual wrestling in general. How we will do is another question. We'll have to wait and see how he performs in tonight's match. Here is his opponent making his debut in JCPW. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex Ander X. Taylor about the fucking flex. Perfect. Ten so dark you cannot see. Light 
I'm making his day here tonight. A real hybrid fighter of both high flying chemicals, tactical skills, and power. How you pull off this is his first match. This is his first match ever in virtual wrestling. How you pull off is an old fact. We have to wait and see how that does pull out. I'm making his debut. He's up to me. Four out of ten. Cody Rossi, Alexander X. Here we go with your opening episode, opening episode of our brand new strap. Cody Rossi straight in there with a flatliner. But like I said, this is the new season, season two, episode one. I see Cody Rossi taking instant control there. First that beautiful flatliner, follows it with a snap DDT. And then just a straight forearm to the head of Alexander X. Cody Rossi now again dropping him with that DDT. Cody Rossi has been dominant right from the start of this match. Bounces off with the shining wizard. This will be first night nerves from Alexander. A dominant Mishinoku driver. Cody Rossi is dominant, but just to say that, Alexander X comes into life, realizes the trouble he's in, but Cody Rossi using that experience rolls to the outside. Was the German suplex reverse from Alexander X? Now look at these knee strikes. Cody Rossi is still on his feet. And another mission open driver. Cody Rossi has been dominant right from the start of this match. Has not given a chance to the debut and superstar to even come off, get off the mark. Goes the pin. Way too early for that one there. Then a straight kick to the side of the head. Great fight for legs. Oh, that escape from my great find that escape from Alexander X. And then just dragging his opponent. Looks like he's going to the corner. Smart lays him down. Cody Rossi straight back on his feet. Sends Alexander X to the outside. And a shoulder tackle sends Alexander to the, to the outside. Right, this is, a jump. this is a new season. And we say it's a new season because we are now in WWE 2K18. Cody Rossi using that strength. Look at like he's gonna go something. Oh, Snake guys him into the corner post there. He's got to get himself back in the ring. Referee up to six. Alexander now now start to try to start some kind of momentum here. Back in the both superstars back in the ring. Alexander with the Irish whip. Falls over there. He did a big boot. Huge big boot from Alexander X. And the positioning in. Positioning Cody Rossi for something. Picks him up. And there's a deadlift power bomb. And falls up with a forearm, but just misses out on that one. And it's Cody Rossi with that crucifix. Doesn't hold on, doesn't go for the pin. Cody Rossi with the Irish whip. Really dominated Alexander X this whole match. Could be down to experience. But no, Alexander X able to reverse that. But no, Cody Ross is straight back on with the Irish whip. And then falls up with a combination of shoulder charges. Sends Alexander. Look at that move there. That snap drop kick there using the ropes. Cody Rossi has been dominant this whole match. Again, going for those shoulder tackles again. Feels that drop kick to it again. And a second snap drop kick there from Cody Rossi. Cody Rossi knows he's in control of this match. Alexander is kind of out of the depth, I would say. Here we go, what's Cody Rossi got planned now? Not on his shoulders. 
into the explosion. Into that beautiful kick there. Are we going to see it? Coup de grace, that double st foot stomp. Cody Ross with the pin. One, two, three. To be honest, there was no doubt in the beginning of this match. Cody Ross has dominated that whole match. Alexander X has very little momentum. Actually, any kind of any kind of um, attempt or any kind of move in this match is the first pin attempt for Cody Rossi. Only gets the one count. We saw Cody Rossi utilizing that shoulder charge, shoulder tackle several times in this match. And found that with that drop kick to fist. Is that third one of those? Shoulder tackles. And this is yeah, this is yeah, that double foot stop off the top rope. Right in the for that. And there it is, Cody Rossi with the victory. It's just onwards and upwards for both these superstars. I'd be interested to see what she does hold for either one of these. But ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Cody Rossi, the opening match of our second season here. But we're going to take a very short commercial break. We'll be straight back right after this. Welcome back everybody to JCPW. Please do not forget to check out the two in two companies we just looked at. But here we go with our next match of the evening. We have Vincent Lawrence making his way down to the ring. Now this guy has not had the best start here in JCPW. So could this new season, this new start, this new luck help him to his career, help him to improve on his start here in JCPW. Whether it's or not is another question, but we'll just have to wait and see how this match goes, because he is taking on a superstar who does have a lot of momentum after Insurrection. His opponent. Mm. 
Big Star making his return to KCW. This is Xander Barnett. Now he had a great show in an insurrection, coming out with a victory. But there was there was a lot of talk whether Barnett was coming back to JCW. But as you can see, we sorted out the visa, we sorted out everything else. He is now hailing from Loki. He's hailing from England, so this guy is now an English an English native, UK native. He's so excited to be here at JCW, and he has a huge opportunity here. Taking on Vincent Lawrence. And here we go, Vincent Lawrence, Xander Barnett. Here we go, and Xander Barnett wasting little time there. Straight in there with a strike to Vincent Barnett with a beautiful Vincent Lawrence with that huge forearm smash. And that was a super kick. I don't think Vincent Lawrence was expecting this. Vince Xander Barnett has been dominant. Oh look at these strikes. Oh, falls with a knee strike. Xander Barnett has come out of the, out of the gate. Oh, we get some Barnett. Northern Lights. Oh, look at the core strength floats over into a brain buster. He's going. This might. No, no, no way. It's one. No, 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 no. Oh, that has to be the quickest victory ever in JCPW. Xander Barnett has just. Pushed Vincent Lawrence to the side. And it was pretty in the strike. I think that four rounds right from the beginning. Followed by a super kick and then those combination strikes. And there's that brain. Ladies and gentlemen, I am in I am in shock right now. That match didn't even last two minutes. Xander so Barnett making a huge statement here. Hitting, 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 hitting. Look at <laughs> well, here we go, we're moving on to our next match of the We've got three superstars making their debut. And the first lady making her way to the ring. She is the lady killer biker. This is Illa Isabella Robinson bringing her Harley down to the ring. This lady is a biker chick through and through. Part of the only renowned, only we know female biker gang where is the person the lady fighters we 
know if Blaze is gonna trade such good style. He's gonna be hard hitting. And if it is the Battle of Robinson making her debut. And her opponent. Leave the coffin open when I go. Leave my pearls and lipstick on. Make so it way to the room. This is Haley Urena coming straight from Sweden. She is a princess and she knows it, believe me. I mean, this is her debut and she already has the man with white roses and a cake in backstage. This girl knows what she wants. It's to make an impact here in JCCW. Hopefully at some point she holds the women's title. She was currently held, she was currently held by Christian Townsend. There she is, Hayley Urena. And our final participant in this match. She is representing the Super Click. This is Smith Rivers. Very unusual name when we saw this one. But Smith Rivers representing the Super Click, which I do believe has a weird link with Alexander X. Whether I found a record brought in with them, I do not know. But this is Smith Rivers looking to make an impact here in JCCW. Her along with his Super Six Brothers, who you will see in a later episode. Isabella Robertson, Haley Rayner, Smith Rivers. Here we go. This is a triple threat match. Three girls making their debut here, so I will try and call as much of the action as possible. But as we all know in JCPW, these triple threat matches have a habit of being quite chaotic. As you see, Haley Rayner working over the arm of Smith. Breaks the eyes and drops down the side rushing leg sweep. But here comes Isabella Robertson in with the back, with that beautiful back suplex. And he drives the opponent head first into the mat. Isabella does have the power advantage over both these women, as you can tell right there. Tilt and will, but holds on and drops it down for the side slam. Isabella and Smith Rivers in the ring. Drops it down the jawbreaker. Isabella showing her strength, showing she is the dominant one. I just rips her opponent's hand, slams into the mat, goes to the early pin. One. Way too early. Any kind of pin in this match. This is Smith Rivers now with the reversal. And then here you went out of no with the Meteora. And falls up with a running Hulkin runner. Isabel Robinson now on the outside, just leaving Smith and Haley in the ring. Haley has done something, but thought better of it. Oh, look at this invert, modified Boston Crab. But 
broken up by Isabella. That will Irish win and follows up with a spear. Haley Rain with a huge spear there. But there's the power. And just dropped Haley Rayner onto the top. On the top of Smith Rivers here. That looks like Rayner taking control. Starts the alley and then follows up with a flatliner. Oh, concentrating her attack on Haley. And just slams her to the mat. Let me just say, hit you. Isabel Robertson, sorry, will have the power advantage in this match. But look at that! Smith Riggers sends, Hayley, sends Isabella right on the top of Haley. And it goes into the pin, falls after splash, goes to the pin. Only gets the one count. And this is a huge opportunity for all three of these women on the debut to really show their intentions as to why they're here because we all know they're here to win that JCBW Women's Championship. Oh, it Hayley Reyna using those kicks there. Jimmy Hill kick and follows that up, but it's broken up by Isabella. Smith using that strength, just giving Isabella a chance to think about it. They'll let it up there too long. And there's it reverses from Isabella. Who then is again Irish whips to the corner into the corner. Drops it down with it, but Haley went out of nowhere. Just, just absolutely face planted, face washed. Smith there with a beautiful knee. Now sends Isabella. We're gonna see. We're gonna see the top. Hurricane top rope, Hurricane Rana. Haley Rayner now taking control of this match. Goes to the middle rope. Beating her opponent. What we're going to see from Haley Rayner. Because of this, it's cross middle rope crossbody. But out of nowhere, Smith Rose comes in. Real barrel bulldog. And it falls up with a pin. Yes, the one count there. All three is really going for it right now. Huge discus clothesline there. And see Smith takes control. Going to Smith. On went. I don't know what she's going for. I see the official suplex or something, but rolls up. But he turns in favour. Turns it over. Only oh, manages to get two count there. Is Smith was going for something big there. And what has we got to see from? Oh, look at that from Isabella. Torture rack backbreaker. Goes to pin, but no, Hilly Rayner's ready for it. And drops her down with a DDT. Hilly Rayner now concentrating that attack on the stronger point, on Isabella. Great match we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Only halfway through. Great win, bring away in there, sorry. Haley, they went for the pin. And Smith just breaks the arm over Isabel to pick up the cheeky win. Now Isabel knows the girls are ganging up on her, so she needs to now react with the forearm. She drops it down with the alley -oop. Now turns her attention to Haley. Hammerlocks the arm and just drops her down with a beautiful hammerlock. Scoop slam. And drags it in the middle of the ring. Gonna go for a pin. Could she get a pin off this one? Not even a two count. Goes for a knee, but no, he was ready for it. No, he no, didn't take the trouble. Beautiful. Back and forth reversals. Beautiful neck reversal out the suplex and goes full pin off that neck breaker. Again, only the one cover. Smith's back in the sense. Is better back to the mat. Oh, look at that stun. Draping her opponent's neck over the rope, then goes into the pin. Goes on the pin as one. Again, only gets the one count. These girls looking for these pins. 
every opportunity they can get. So now Smith Rivers and Isabel Robson in the ring. Smith goes another, another pin. Oh, he gets the two counts. With that drop kick, one too many. Isabel was right here, but so was. Knocked down. Single leg crab. Single leg crab there from Isabella. He needs to get back in the ring to try and break this up. As she managed to break it up. Well, Isabella's looking for something, but he's cut her off. Step up in the Gui. And then concentrates on two rivers with that snap neck breaker there. All three women on the mat. They have put so much into this match. Drakes the arm, Haley Dunst drops the arm over the opponent. Oh, that was close. Only manages to get two counts. This is a better show from that was in there. Oh, Smith was able to break that pin up. Kind of concentrates her attack onto Isabel Robertson. This breaks it over. Oh, neck breaker off the middle rope. And goes into the pin. This could be done. No. Then she let the pin out. I think she saw Haley stirring. Again, Sniffer is using that strength. Looking for something. Carrying trying to pull it around. But no, Haley was able to reverse that one. Over an Irish whip to the corner. While we seen that was spinning heel kick. Kick to the back and then falls up with. Look at the No. Smith, it will reverse it into the Tiger Suplex. Into that beautiful Tiger Suplex there. And I'll concentrate to attack on Isabella. Trying to utilize the powerhouse, drops down the elbow. Going to the second rope, we'll go see from his frog. Goes for splash, misses it. Going for splash, missed it. Oh, we see him do this earlier in the match. Torture rack into the backstabber. He needs to get into the ring, this match could be done. But no, looks like Isabella wants to throw a little bit more destruction. Break up whatever Isabella was going for there. And then falls it with an Irish whip to the corner. Does it a step up in Zaguri. Second time she's hit that from the corner. She goes in for the pinch. She goes pin off that. In Zaguri. Two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. two and three quarters there. Snaps off the suplex. He's looking like she exuded a lot of energy there, but again, Smith Rivers sneaking in there for the pin. Smith Rivers has definitely got the ring, the ring IQ. This is the center point now onto the top rope. What are we going to see? What are we going to see here from Smith Rivers? Is it the most overused move in wrestling? There it is with the superplex. Sends Haley to the outside. It's just Smith and Isabella now remaining in the ring. And there's that drop kick to the back of the neck again she likes to use. Falls it up with a beautiful float over butterfly suplex. And she off that one as one, two. And no way is a bad Jess managed to kick out that one. He's got a lot of match we're seeing from these three ladies right now. The E now stuck. Sends it up into the corner, but no, it's missed. And Smith Rivers now looking to take control. What is that? Oh! 
springboards off into the beautiful end security kick. There's one, smashing down is two. 54 again, just kicking out. Does that drop kick and misses it. He now looking at something, no reversal. And Smith, you look at the back into that, goes into the pin. I wasn't getting ready for that. It was not there in time, but strength from here to make, make sure he kicks out. And we're down to leave. It is now Isabella versus Smith. And we saw Smith hit this earlier. There's that draping neck breaker. Goes into that pin again. No, again, doesn't, get, doesn't remain in the pin. How's it with Tony in? What is Smith looking to do? Look at the strength of Smith there. Brings Isabella back into the ring the hard way. And gets the leg trip. Isabella now needs to take control. And it's cranked on the head and neck. It's broken up by Haley. Oh, I think Isabella's going. Reversal there from Isabella. Isabella now starting to take control. You gonna see another one? No. Into the back suplex. But you see how she dropped down vertically. More impact on the head and neck, and then follows up with the bow and arrow lock. She is cranking that back. I don't think Smith Rivers realizes the danger that they're in. Smith can't even break it up herself, but Haley manages to escape it. How was Haley doing this after that? Terrible bow and arrow. Looking for something that both of looking for something that was reversed. There's a bell with the next one. Hammer locks the arm, but no, it's reversed. Now look at the strength of Smith and she drops her down with a face buster. Off the electric chair. Now she's the point into the corner now. Springboard's off. There's that insecurity off the middle rope. Goes into the pain. Can this be it? Could this be the one? Two. Well, he just managed to kick out of that one. Smith with all three of these ladies have been very impressive. What is it going for? Snaps over, snaps deep left into the pin. It's worth a go. I didn't think it was enough, but it was worth the go. And Haley is absolutely exhausted right now. Mr. Bell Robertson now starting to take control. And go on, another one of those flat liners you get right, keep on there right at the beginning of the match. Pulling it there, but reversed. She looks like she's going for this earlier. Fisherman's legs. Oh! Spins it into the fisherman's neck breaker. Rolls into the pin. Haley's out. Smith Rivers picks up the win for the super click. But ladies and gentlemen, what a match we have just witnessed. As we go back, it is those pocket kicks. With a huge distance clothesline there from Smith Rivers and this is the roll up both ladies going for roll up Ryan Shep the advantage look at this in a little move torch the rack into the back breaker and then there is that neck breaker there from Haley Marina Smith representing the Super Clip. This is Smith Rivers.
So why don't you just do it again? I can't. Why not? I just can't. All you need to do is just what you did before. It's not the same anymore. So that's it? It's all over? Yeah. Welcome back everybody, again do not forget to check out Lion's Den, but here we go with our next match of the evening. And making his way to the ring, he is the former JCPW Hardcore Champion. He is the new face of fear. This, this is Crimson. Now Crimson does have a lot, a lot to show, a lot to, a lot to do. He did lose that hardcore championship at Insurrection. Can Crimson pull up the victory tonight? Put himself back on that winning streak. Just have to wait and see because he has got a major, major task ahead of him with a superstar making his debut tonight.
on his opponent. Crimson, Ace, here we go with both superstars here meeting in the middle of the ring but Ace straight into the side rushing leg sweep, leg sweep, you understand Ace is going to have a huge power advantage over his opponent here tonight so Crimson Youth needs to use that, utilize his speed, his pace, his agility because we know for a fact Ace is just going to go for straight up power. As we see a perfect example of this slingshot suplex.
So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our next match of the evening. And making his way to the ring. Being accompanied by the JCPW Women's Champion, Twisted Townsend. This is Logan Townsend. Or as these two like to be known, they are the B R A T. If you wonder what that is, is the beautiful, rich, and talented. I see both Townsend wearing a title, loading with the hardcore, Winston with the women. So they have big, big ass for them, facing and Superstar making his debut. There's our list of brat, the beautiful, beautiful, rich and talented. And they earn those titles and their opponents making their, making his debut. He is a part of the union with his brother Noel McCarthy. This is Connor McCarthy. He's the one you're fooling to. Connor McCarthy is the one in the way to the green shirt. Noah is the one. Who is the other one? This is a huge, huge opportunity. 
fourth Donna was put on his debut to put himself straight in the title picture, especially for the hardcore title. Logan Townsend, Connor McCarthy. <clears throat> Here we go. Obviously, both men lock up. But Connor McCarthy there with the arm ringer. And drops into that standing arm bar, but no reversal from Townsend. Into the attempt at the Fujiwara arm bar. Both superstars obviously going to be feeling each other out. These guys have never faced each other ever before. Are we going to get a clean break? We did. Clean break there. Connor McCarthy's looking for something. Reversal from, not, from Logan Townsend. Who follows up with a beautiful fireman's carry into the flat jack. Logan Townsend now look, drags his opponent to the ropes and it blows lines him over the top. Got to be careful of obviously Kristen Townsend on the outside. As we all know what kind of threat that girl can be. We have no idea what kind of threat Noah can be, but we do have to keep an eye on the outside. As Logan Townsend doing what he does best, pondering to the crowd. But as you see, Logan Town just driving Conor McCarthy's head into the mat. And now Conor McCarthy there with the reversal. They guys have got a 10 count. I don't know why Conor McCarthy sends Logan Townsend up the ramp. Both guys realise that there was the carrot was coming, but here we see Irish whips in. Reversal, Conor McCarthy with the back suplex there. And drags his opponent into the middle of the ring, goes off the pin. Not, not even the one count there. Conor McCarthy looking very good, dropping down with this beautiful brain buster. And it's driving his opponent, driving his, his uh, forearm across the face of his opponent. And McCarthy falls up with two double knees to the gut. Impressive showing for Conor McCarthy against the, against the GCBW Hardcore Chat. But just as I say that, falls up with a beautiful full Nelson bomb. Well, for those who watched over that was the Bubba bomb. Down his opponent. What is Logan Townsend got planted? Drops and to the back of his opponent's neck and head. And begging gets Connor to come and make his way to his feet. Follows it up with Diamond Blockbuster. Logan Townsend now start take control of this match. And just as I say that, Connor with the elbow. But no, reversal into that beautiful deep spike DDT. You saw the angle of Conor McGregor's body there. And there's the spine buster. Hey, what's Noah McCarthy doing? Noah McCarthy, you've got no involvement in this match. Noah McCarthy, just, Noah McCarthy has just got his brother in, his brother disqualified. What was Noah McCarthy thinking? He has literally just jumped in and give the ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a short break. But well, here we go with our next advert.
Welcome back everybody to JCPW. I will move on to our penultimate match. We will see one of the JCPW champions in action. There he is, making his way to the ring. He is the JCPW Next Gen Champion. This is Alex Hayes. He is currently, I should say that, he is a double champion. So not only does he hold the JCPW Next Gen Champion, he does also hold the US or UK Championship in CWL. So we do have a double champion right now here in JCPW. Can he prove and show everybody why he is the champion that he is? We we'll have to wait and see. And his opponents are making his debut. This is Eric Schultz. And said making his debut tonight. This guy has so much to prove, to especially taking on the next gen champion. This guy is here from Germany, so this guy does have a soft spot all over a German hardcore. And I mean, by that I mean hardcore rock. But this is a powerhouse beyond others. From what seems he's quite a quite got a lot of agility this guy, what a big man. This is a big opportunity for me as he does take on the JCPW next gen champion. There is Alex Hayes, Eric Schultz. We've got Eric Schultz instantly there with a side slam. Showing that power, showing that, that power that he does have over his opponents. Just a gut wrench side slam, gut wrench suplex, we're gonna call it. And falls away with a cravat suplex. Eric Schultz not wasting time. Oh, just to remind you of this is a falls counts anyway match. I did forget to mention that at the beginning. Obviously, both, both guys don't try to use that back, but no. I just ripped the opponent in. Going for the wheelbarrow suplex. And then picks up that bat and rains it down to the midsection of Alex Hayes. Like Schultz, is not, Schultz is not ready. He wants Alex Hayes to make his way to the outside. And Alex Hayes responds by sending him face first into that unforgiving ring post. And drops down with a foot DDT. Eric Schultz has nothing to lose and everything to gain. But we do know Alex Hayes has everything to lose. So the reverse DT or neck break and Schultz are using the power and falls up with a suplex. And then just cranking back in the head and neck with his opponent. And then sends Alex Hayes in. To the unforgiving steel barricade drops in face first and goes with the pin. This could be an early pin. One, not, not even a two count there. Eric Schultz using that power advantage that he does have. There's a reverse of this Malatese. 
huge drop. Like I said, Alex Hayes has so much to lose in this one. And this guy is the champion. He's a double champion, so we can lose in this match. He may have to put his title up for grabs wherever he is, whether it's CWL or here in JCPW. He has so much to lose. And it, I just think that drops. Eric Schultz is a huge CDT. But Eric Schultz have ev has everything to gain. Looks like Saves is going to use that bat and just drives it over his opponent's back. And there's the cockiness of Alex Saves just stopping on his opponent's face. There's the reversal. Fireman's carry by Eric Schultz. Back and forth reversals you just see from these guys in that one. He's not just sauce. Alex, Eric Schultz, so he's composed his opponent halfway across the ring. What's this? Oh, Ace Crusher on the outside. Fireman's carry Ace Crusher. Eric Schultz is looking dominant in this match. Alex Hayes needs to mount some kind of offense if he wants to pick up the win. And the reverse is sends Hayes. Into the so sends Schultz into the corner, sets him up on the top rope. And you're gonna see the top rope Hurricane Rana. Actually, he's trying to get some kind of energy from the crowd. Right, Schultz to one knee, but Hayes is there. Looks like Schultz looks, goes for a strike, a little bit. Hayes reverses it. Goes for a step, reversed. Back and forth reversals. Oh, look at the power! Look at the power of Eric Schultz with that huge full nails. So this match can be done. One, two. Oh, Alex Hayes just managed to get that shoulder up. But what a beautiful full Nelson slam there from Eric Schultz. Looks like he's getting himself psyched up for something big. Alex Hayes goes through, follows up with a forearm. Alex Hayes, oh he locks in. He's locking in that walls of his, that beautiful Boston Crab. He is cranking back on that one. That's a lot of pressure. Is Schultz going to tap? He has tapped out. Eric Schultz just tapped out. But what a show in. Eric Schultz almost had the pin. Use the power of that superstar smashing his face onto the back. Unforgiving barricade. Goes into the doesn't manage to get only managed to get two count. But there's that ace crusher. Get on the outside. He thought this is a look at that. Full Nelson slam. Full rotation, the extra power there. Second time, beautiful, beautiful Nelson slam, but doesn't manage to get the win. He thought this was it, there's the pin, there's one, there's two, and the referee's had almost hit, but he's just able to get out, and out of nowhere, Alex Hayes locks in that beautiful wall of Hayes. Ranking back, and Schultz had no options but to chap out. And they have retaining, well, wasn't retaining, but what a win for Eric Schultz. For I say sorry, but believe me, I don't think this is the end of this is two going at it face to face. The Schultz felt, must have felt he had the win there. Alex Hayes picks up the win, picks up the win with that Boston Crab. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take another short break. We'll be right back after this.
welcome back everybody and we now go to our main event of the evening and we got Superstar making his debut here tonight. This is Lars Behrens. This guy is a major powerhouse, but he has a few tasks ahead of him because he's taking on the rated X couple. But it is Lars Behrens making his way down to the ring and debuting as a main event is a big thing for this guy. And taking on Wolf is an earth best, specifically a big one too. But we'll have to see how this match goes. And his opponent making his way to the ring. He is the past, present, and future of virtual wrestling. With his girlfriend, Mercedes. This is the Rated X couple. This is Mercedes and JC Wolf. Our JC Wolf is coming off a lot at Instagram. We did lose that last time standing match. Two eight from the JC Wolf has a huge schedule on the corner. CCA, CCL, CWA, CWL, AWS, so many companies that JC Wolf is working for right now. Will you spread yourself too thin? I don't know what we will see how this match goes. They have a beautiful couple that is JC Wolf and Mercedes. Here we go, JC Wolf, Lars Behrens. And both guys and Wolf looking straight in there, straight in, knowing Lars has the power advantage. Drops now with the meteor there. Falls up with the Sunday, bloody Sunday, that beautiful lifted reverse. DDT and straight into the pin up for the early victory. Only gets the two count. Behrens has got to use, Lars Behrens has got to use that power advantage that he does have as he goes for a move here, but no, as he burst into that beautiful jump, front arm breaker there. What is Wolf Luckton doing to drag his opponent around? Drops him through, drops under, we've seen him do this before, there's the athleticism of JC Wolf, flies under into the Hurricane Rana. He's got to use his speed against a person like Lars Behrens. And there's a drop kick. Shot there, but no, Lars is ready for that one. Irish whipped Wolf into the top, into the ropes. This is Lars Behrens' first match here. This match in Virtual Wrestling is mostly a lot of debuts here this week. <coughs> this is there with this. Takes him down and drops him down with the head, but this last guy is an absolute beast. And another head back. And then works on the knee, just driving his opponent's knee into the mat. But Lars is now starting to take control, but no, just to say that, Wolf is able to shoot there, falls up with a Pele kick. There's an Irish whip from Wolf. And a running clothesline. Not only does this guy have power, he does have the strength as well. 
but Baron does have the power advantage in this match. You can tell just from the stature of the superstar. As he reverses it from the start, Baron drops him down with a reverse DDT. And then just working their power, looking to drag back on that coat, uh, on that collarbone. Razi now starting to take control. Just to see that again. Reverse there from JC Will falls up with a clothesline. Didn't get it all, but he never put Bar Barons down. Springboards into the lion salt. Oh, we've seen JC Will fuses. No, wait, what's this? What is that? I have no idea what that move was. Well, like you said, we're trying to end this match early. Goes for it, but no! Lars Behrens is ready for it. <laughs> Irish Curse. Oh, keeps hold of it. And a third. A trifecta of Irish Curse backbreakers there. No, Lars rolling the corner into the middle of the ring. Looking for him, but no luck to the deadlift suplex. Like they say, Lars Behrens is a big man. He has a lot of power. He's got Wolf up. We're going to see some Wolf. Puts him oh, similar move there. That Fireman's carry into the front slam. Goes into the pin, can he get pin over it? Huge victory for Lars and he gets it, but no, only manages to get two counts. Lars has been using that power there out of nowhere, hitting that finisher. Two hands and drops it now with the choke bomb. But reverse over there from JC Wolf. Needs to now use his advantage. Maybe get some advantage in this match, Falls. Uh, with a beautiful swing and DD, swing and neck breaker there. Look at Lars rolling to the outside. Roll straight back in. And Irish whips Wolf into the corner. Cash Tolan goes in another way. Oh, this body checks him. Lars and the power goes with a pin off that body check. Jess gets the two count. J.C. Wolf has felt the power of this superstar right from the beginning. But is it going to be enough to get in the win? We'll have to wait and see as the match progresses. I see Lars again going for that huge, just deadlift his opponent up. Follow the knee strike to the head. He's going to go for it again. Irish curse. Keeps hold of it. Here's the second one. Trifecta of those Uranagi backbreakers. Wolf back. Definitely, definitely got me feeling it right now. As we can go for it again. Goes out of the five minutes carry. Spins him around and drops him down. Look at that beautiful front slam. Lars could pick up a huge victory here. One, two. Again, Wolf just managed to use that resilience to get his shoulder up. But Lars Behrens has been absolutely dominant this whole match. And a double axe handle drops the opponent down. <clears throat> oh, there's, there's the power. Look, just everything. Carries his opponent to that corner and drops him in, drives him into that top turn and drops him down with a power slam. And then he sends his opponent into the corner. Puts him onto the top row. What are we going to see from Behrens here? A reversal from Wolf, ready for it. Drops down with a beautiful top rope hurricane runner. If JC Wolf has any chance, he's got to use his speed. He 
got to use that agility that he does have over his opponents. There is that beautiful forearm smash there from the middle rope. <clears throat> a drop. We see him use that. There's that beautiful Claymore kick. It doesn't go for pin. German suplex there from his from JC Wolf. Going back to basics. Needs to realize he needs to wear his opponent down a lot more. But Lars has reversed that one. A reversal back. Ladies and gentlemen, we see him back and forth reversing from both these superstars here. There's both snap maze and coming down. That leaves another one of those Sunday bloody Sundays. Lift up, reverse DDT, and goes with the pin. Only gets the two count. What a main event. Lars Behrens has shown some real resiliency here. JC will need to stop taunting and end this match because he can't go on much longer. Oh, you know, he likes to hit the 450 from the Springboard 450 flash. There is that full move splash. Goes into the pin. This match could be done. Ooh, two and a half there. Not able to finish the point off with that full move splash. What more has JC Wolf got to do? Best drops over into the net breaker. Innovative move there from JC Wolf. He's more about no Lars. Good find it and goes in for the pin. Goes a sneaky pin. I didn't need to get off that one. He needs more than that to pin down a, per a person like JC Wolf. And Lars again using that power, driving his opponent into the top and dumps him on the middle of the ring. Lars now starting to take control. He's going for a third of these trifectas. There it is, the first one. And a third Irish curse back break, backbreaker of Uranagi backbreaker, but can he finish this match off? Doesn't go for the pin off that trifecta. Just beating his opponent up. Reverse all Lars. Oh, he's got him on his shoulder. He's going to go for a third one of these. Spins him round into, the, the, into that side slam. This is going to be a huge shot. No way. There's one, two, three. Lars Behrens has just pinned J.C. Wolf. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a huge upset. I was not expecting Lars to come out here and win this match. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. As we go through the highlights, there's one of the many front slams that he used there. This is the second trifecta of you and backbreakers. Another one of those beautiful front slams. And that was the end of it. But Lars Baron has just pinned G. See, well, that is a huge victory. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our first episode here in season two. We will see you all very, very soon. Good night.